Today, I want to talk about the best approaches for studying towards Azure certificates. I'll show you the resources me and my colleagues use, and I'll also explain the most efficient way of using them. The first resources is, of course, the Microsoft Learning Path. So on this, you have the documents for the Azure services, as well as some hands-on exercises. The good thing about it is it's an official document, so you can trust everything that you see on this. But a lot of people do find it quite dry, including myself. The second resource is online courses. They usually follow the Microsoft Learning Path contents, as well as going through some practical examples. And you can find plenty of these on sites like Udemy and Coursera, and as well as YouTube courses. In terms of passing the Azure certificates, the courses are purely optional to me, so I won't include them in my best approaches section. And the third and the last resource is examtopics.com. The website contains community posted questions and answers for all types of certificates. The great thing about the website is that, first of all, it's free. And the questions posted are very good representation of the certificate questions. So you get a very good understanding of where your strengths are and where your weaknesses are. Since it's a free community-based website, the suggested answers aren't necessarily the right answers. The good thing about it though is that there is a discussion section below each question. So you can go through them and see other suggested solutions and answers. So using these resources, here are my three-step foolproof approach for passing any Azure certificates. My first step is have a go at practice exams. Most likely you will fail, but this step forces you to see the general structure, the big picture of the certificate, what kind of questions are being asked, and what manner. And it just gives you a good insight on where you are at, what you know already, and what you need to study for. So this step provides you a very good starting point. Step number two, go through the Microsoft Learning Path. The Learning Path is structured with sections. And since in the first step we've developed the big picture in our brain already, we will have some sort of context on how each of these sections fit into the overall certificate content. So the learning in this step is much more effective. Now the final step is to go back to the examtopics.com website and go through all the practice tests and make sure we can ace every single one of these questions. On average, about 80% of the questions in the certificate exam will come from these. So just by knowing these questions, you are very likely to pass the certificate exam. So there it is, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any other tips and recommendations, then let me know. Otherwise, thank you so much for my 40 subscribers. Are, I still remember when I had one about like a month and a half ago. So thank you very much, guys, and I appreciate all of you, all of your comments. They've been really kind. Subscribe for weekly data science and developer contents like this. And yeah, let's keep going. We got this.